Hey, single Capricorns, who's coming in for you? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, for single Capricorns. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Who's coming in for single Capricorns for their love life? Who's coming in for single, <clears throat> excuse me, single Capricorns? We have the sun, okay? Leo's energy coming through. We have Aquarius. This could be someone with sun in Aquarius. So their sun sign is Aquarius or someone with that energy. Okay. Could be a Scorpio coming in. And one more Venus, Libra's energy. They could have Venus in Scorpio. If they do, this is a very alluring person. A person who will kind of like draw you in with their energy. And before you know it, you, you won't even know what happened. Okay, before you know it, you're like talking to this person in a deep conversation and you don't even know how you got there. Like this, this is the type of person that could really pull you in, really draw you in with their mystery, their intrigue. You will feel with Venus and Scorpio, you will feel this person's energy from across the room. This is a person who knows how to handle love situations who knows romance and <clears throat> excuse me, gosh, my throat, my throat is so dry guys. So just excuse that. But it's like this person who knows romance, they know how to get the person that they want. So this person has a very strong wielding power and this person knows how to corner their lover when it comes to Venus and Scorpio. Um, if this person has Aquarius anywhere in their chart, this is a very friendly person. This is a person who will maybe come off to you as a friend first. Um, they could be in your friendship circle or someone who's a friend of a friend or someone who may start off as friends with you and then it develops into something very deep and very binding and a strong bond between the two of you, okay? Okay. So show us this person, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, coming in for single Capricorn. Okay, what we got? Strength card. It could be Leo for some of you. The sun card already came out. So that is Leo's energy. They could have Leo in their chart. Yeah, who is this person? They could be very brave. That Ace of Wands wanted to jump up. Who is this person coming in for single Capricorn? Knight of Wands. Ooh. Fire sign energy, someone who's fun, flirty, okay? This could be a person who's also very busy, okay? So they could be very into maybe their career or different activities, sports, fitness. They could be working on different projects. Um, I also just got that they could have a large friendship circle. That's also the energy of Aquarius, they may have a large friendship circle, okay? Eight of Swords, ooh. Thinking a lot about connecting with you. Mm-hmm. Ooh, what is this? <laughs> Nine of Wands with the Eight of Swords. Four of Wands, yeah. They want to connect with you. This person, they could want a relationship with you. Okay. Two of Wands, Yeah. Wondering if you're the right person for them as well. Okay. Wondering if this is a good decision. Okay. And they could also be wondering if you want the same thing. Do you want a relationship with this person? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, what do they want to say to single Capricorn? Nine of Pentacles, finding you very attractive. Ooh, this person is very turned on by you, very attracted to you. With the energy of the Nine of Pentacles, Page of Swords, there's that spying card watching you, spying on you, very intrigued by you. They could love the way you dress. Somebody may be very into belts. I just got... <laughs> That's so random. Sometimes I get the most random messages from Spirit, but I'm literally like seeing a belt now, somebody may like to get whipped or spanked. <laughs> or you may like to do that to someone. You know, Capricorns, y'all are freaky. Y'all may like to whip or spank or something with a belt. You may like to tie someone up. They may like to tie you up. The cross watcher, you may be 
uh, into a single Capricorn, you may be very into that kind of stuff. Okay. Very kinky energy. Whoa. The seven of cups just fell out. Yeah. Lots of fantasy here. Mm. Okay. It's like when they watch you, they start to fantasize or daydream about you even. What do they want to say to single Capricorns at this time? The moon, lots of deep emotions, deep feelings, Cancerian energy, page of pentacles. Yeah. Again, it's just the energy of they may come off very friendly as a friend with the energy of the page of pentacles. It's kind of a shy energy, friendship energy, talking to you, you know, about small things like small talk, shooting the shit or, you know, how's the weather? Oh yeah, you like the weather. <laughs> Oh, yeah, did you watch the game last night? Or, you know, it's just like little stuff like that. Like this person may bring up the most random stuff, okay? So they may come off with a very friendly energy toward you. Knight of Pentacles, yeah, taking their time to offer something. It's like they're trying to get, trying to gauge you. Trying to see, like, okay, what is single Capricorn into? You know, can I make them laugh? Can I make them like me? Okay, so this person has a lot of deep, like, emotions or even insecurities. I did get this for Aquarius singles. So, like I said, you could be dealing with an Aquarius or someone with that in their chart. You may have it in your chart as well. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. What does this person want to say to single Capricorn? What do they want to say? Show me. Six of Swords. I'm moving slow. They are moving with a lot of caution. All of these cards are showing me moving very cautious. They could have um, Capricorn towards Virgo in their chart as well with the energy of these pentacles. The sun. Ooh, moving toward you with a lot of boldness, happiness. It's like once they approach you, once they let down their guards and, and they really approach you, this person is going to be very bold. We have the sun here twice. I forgot the sun came out first with this card here. Remember? So yeah, lots of Leo energy coming through. This person wants to move this toward happiness. Whew! Ace of Pentacles. Again, earth sign energy. They could have a lot of earth sign placements, but I feel here with this ace of pentacles, this is what they want with you. Something very solid, stable. They could see something very long term with you. Yeah, this person could be longing. Eight of cups is at the bottom of the deck, a very longing energy, longing to be around you. If they're not around you um, <clears throat> in any type of way. Maybe if you work with this person and like, say you're not at work or you take a day off or something like that, or if it's your day off, this person will miss you being in the office. You see what I'm saying? Like looking for you, wondering why you're not there. Or if this person is in your friendship circle, like if you didn't show up to an event or you didn't, you know, go out with everyone, this person could be wondering why they could miss you or feel like they can't have fun if you're not there. Wow. Okay. How will single Capricorns feel about this person? How will they feel? Whoa, we have two. Okay, <laughs> six of wands with the knight of cups. Mm. So you may know that this person likes you because you could be strutting your stuff. Now, some of you, if you're not around this person physically, you could strut your stuff on social media. You could be showing off a little bit. Whenever you get the energy of the six of wands, it's like, mm -hmm, look at me, uh-huh. Oh yeah, I know I have your attention. Knight of Cups. Yeah, you wouldn't mind dating this person. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, how single Capricorn's feeling? King of Pentacles, your energy. Okay. Nine of Swords. Okay. And the Nine of Cups. Ooh. The number nine coming through, <clears throat> coming through strong. So this could be a Virgo or someone with that in their chart. For some of you, I'm getting strong earth sign. So either this person is an earth sign or they have it in their chart. Okay. So you're coming off as the king of pentacles, nine of swords and the nine of cups. So 
you may think about this person, but secretly. You may think about this person at night, maybe when you're by yourself, when you're just laying down in your bed thinking, you could be listening to music, thinking about this person. You could be thinking, mm, maybe, maybe, okay? But it's a secret. Look at that, High Priestess. Keeping it a secret, though, three of pentacles, that you could want to meet up with this person or date this person. Okay. Okay. You need to say something. Mm, Ace of Swords. Okay. What are their intentions with single Capricorn? What are their intentions? Four of Cups. Manifesting that cup. Okay. So they want to manifest this offer with the energy of the Magician. Three of Swords, oh, and the Three of Cups, what? Why is this person thinking this? <clears throat> so they're thinking that there could be a third party in some type of way. Okay, Three of Swords with the Three of Cups. They feel like if they manifest this, they want to, but if they manifest this, they're thinking that this could be a third party. Why are they feeling this? Two of swords. Oh, okay. <clears throat> this person could be afraid of getting played with the two of swords. So it may not be something that will actually happen or something that's actually happening. This could be a fear of theirs. Okay. So they may not be thinking this through clearly. This may be something that they are afraid of with the two of swords. It's like, what if, what if I get hurt? Four of pentacles. And this could hold them back. They may be holding back from you because of this. This may be why they're playing the friend card. Yeah, it's like they're afraid of getting hurt by you. Let me take <clears throat> take a sip, you guys. My throat is dry. <clears throat> so they're afraid of getting hurt by you. And they... It's like they're trying to... Who got this? Somebody else got this energy. I want to say it was <clears throat> Aquarius that got this energy as well. Show me what's going on with this person. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. Yeah, because I feel like with that energy, it's like, oh, like they don't need to feel this way. Because I feel like if you already go into a situation thinking the worst can happen, that's what you're going to manifest. You're going to manifest the worst. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, show me what's going on with this person. Date night. That's what I'm saying. They definitely want to date you. It's there. Whoa, whoa. Three came out. Okay. We have open your heart. I feel like this is for the cross watcher. Open your heart, cross watcher, if you're interested in a single Capricorn. You're going to have to open your heart. If you want this date with Capricorn, going to have to open up. <clears throat> Capricorns, it says they'll be back and pets. I feel like you get this pets card a lot. Okay. Now someone could be sweating the petty stuff. Do you know that saying? I don't know if you've heard that saying, but someone could be sweating the petty stuff. So tripping over nothing, basically. Someone is giving f more light to their fears rather than just opening up and saying how they feel. They may even be a little bit aloof or distant, okay? But this person is like longing for you. But they may have a funny way of showing it at the same time, okay? What is the sexual chemistry between these two? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, what is the sexual chemistry between these two? I love your chest. They love your chest, your boobs, your tits, okay? So this person is very attracted to you. Stop holding back. Whoa. <laughs> Didn't we just talk about this? So someone is definitely holding back here. Someone is holding back. Okay. 
And it could be out of fear of getting hurt. This could be you, Capricorn, vice versa. As I always say, someone has been celibate. It's been a while for someone. Someone has not been having sex. Okay? Remaining abstinent. Someone wants to have drunk sex. Whew. Now, when the two of you do, you know, cross that threshold, you may be out of control with this person. Oh, my gosh. And one more. It's mine. Whoo. Someone wants to make it theirs. Okay. <laughs> okay, y'all. Mm, this is a bit much. Let me come to this deck. It's been a while since I used this deck. What does this person want to say to single Capricorns? I hate my job. Career change. Okay. So this could be something that they're going through. I'm just getting a little bit more insight with this person. I am confident. I am building a business. So this person could be a workaholic. They could also be a person that's trying to transition from being on a nine to five and trying to grow their business. They're putting a lot of confidence into growing a business, becoming an entrepreneur. They're saying, I want kids. I want a family. I'm ready for children. Okay. I'm ready for kids. I talked to my friends about you. Mm-hmm. And one more. I miss you. I miss us. Sad without you. Can't sleep. And I yearn for you. How many times did I say that already? Someone is yearning for you. Longing for you. Okay? So, and this person may not have children right now. It says no kids. So this person may not have kids at the moment, but they see you as someone that they could have this with. Someone is definitely longing for you, Capricorn, singles, okay? Wanting to be with you, but I feel like this person needs to get over that fear of being hurt, okay? So they can come out of the friend zone. Alrighty, single Capricorns, that is your energy. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. I look forward to hearing from you. Take care. Bye.